welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some easy swaps you can make to transition into a cleaner approach to your eating. These are very, very easy, simple swaps. It's essentially swapping out one product or one ingredient for another product or another ingredient. It's going to make transitioning over to a cleaner eating style to WW much, much easier. And again, you can do this in baby steps. As you run out of one ingredient or one product, swap that out for one of the ones that I'm mentioning today. Now, these are some of the transitions and swaps that I've made as I've transitioned over to the clean approach to the program. These are just my personal suggestions, my personal swaps that I've made. As you guys know, I'm not a doctor or a dietitian. I'm just sharing with you the swaps that I have found to be really easy, and I don't notice any difference in taste. Sometimes it's even better than the old version, and it's much, much healthier and better for you. So with that being said, let's jump into these easy swaps to clean eating. with dairy. I have made some swaps when it comes to the dairy that I'm eating. First off is my eggs. I no longer buy the cheap conventional eggs because those chickens, unfortunately for them and us, they don't really see the light of day. They're cooped up in a house in very small spaces all day long and they're generally fed a diet of GMO corn. I have tried to eliminate all GMO out of my diet, so I've been buying organic pasture-raised eggs. As you know, I recently picked some up from a local farm and they are so delicious. I do have a couple of favorite brands of eggs. The Happy Egg is absolutely delicious. And also there is the Vital Farms. Those both make excellent organic pasture-raised eggs. So that's been a swap where I've noticed just the taste of my egg is so much better. Now they are a little bit more expensive, but they're non-GMO and these chickens actually eat worms and things from the earth that they should to have a better, healthier egg for us. Also, I've swapped out my butter. I no longer use any type of light butter or margarine. I always use either the Melt plant-based butter. This one is my absolute favorite. It's so good and it has perfect ingredients and it's one smart point less than traditional butter. So light butters are one to two smart points per tablespoon. My Melt butter is three smart points per tablespoon. And regular butter is a fabulous option as well, especially if you can get a pasture-raised grass-fed butter like the Vital farms, that is four smart points per tablespoon. So again, I gladly take the extra smart points for a better quality, healthier option of butter. But my go-to is definitely the Melt plant-based butter and I find that at really any grocery store. Milk and yogurt are another couple of things that I've made healthier swaps. I now only consume full fat dairy. Now there's a reason for that. When they process the fat out of dairy, it removes all of the nutrients. So all of the good for you parts of dairy, they're removing that through the process of taking the fat out, whether that's 2%, 1% non-fat, none of those milks have the nutrients of full fat dairy. So I have switched to whole milk. I've switched to whole milk cottage cheese. You guys know I'm literally obsessed with the good culture. It's my all time favorite cottage cheese. It's so good and it's one smart point more for half of a cup than low, low fat or light cottage cheese with all of the nutrient benefits. I've also transitioned my yogurt to full fat. I generally will have a full fat flavored yogurt. My favorite is Siggy's because it doesn't have any natural flavor. You guys know how I feel about that. Natural flavor is artificial flavor. So I avoid natural flavors as much as possible as well. And I even just use full fat Greek yogurt, full fat sour cream. And I just take the points for it because for me, I would rather get the nutrients out of the dairy that I'm eating than subbing that out for a low fat or fat free version without the nutrients. And lastly, when it comes to dairy are my nut based milks. I guess these are non-dairy, but in the milk arena or the dairy arena, are nut-based milks. My biggest thing with nut milks is avoiding carrageenan. Carrageenan is an ingredient I don't eat at all whatsoever, and it is a inflammatory ingredient. So it causes a lot of inflammation, definitely not an ingredient that I wanna put in my body. I certainly don't want inflammation, and carrageenan is a 
big, big reason why we have inflammation. So a lot of the nut-based milks contain carrageenan. I have found a few that do not. I know the Califia Farms milk does not, but they generally have natural flavors, so I don't usually reach for that. I really like the Forager Cashew Milk. It has perfect ingredients, no carrageenan, and it's delicious. It is two smart points per cup. I also try to buy pretty much only organic cheese just because I think it tastes a lot better and the points are generally the same. You're just going to pay just a little bit more for an organic cheese. I've been trying to have full fat cheese as well rather than choosing a low fat option for the same reasons that I like to lean towards full fat other dairy like cottage cheese and yogurt. I've swapped out all of my fruits and vegetables to organic whenever possible. I did do a video on the Dirty Dozen and the Clean 15. I'll link that down below for you guys and I'll actually put that video at the end of this one so you can just click on it and it'll pull it right up and play for you. You can Google this information yourself. I didn't make this up. These are the facts of what's considered the Dirty Dozen, which are all fruits and vegetables. You should always buy organic because they're heavily sprayed with pesticides versus the Clean 15, which are clean vegetables that you can go the conventional or non-organic route for. I pretty much buy all mine organic. Again, I don't see much difference in the price and better safe than sorry. Now there are times that I can't get all organic produce, but I generally will lean towards that when it comes to fruits and vegetables, both fresh, and frozen. Another easy swap is to transition from conventional tomatoes and tomato products to organic. Tomatoes are on the dirty dozen list. They're one of the dirtiest vegetables. So I think buying organic is a much better option. And honestly, you want to look for BPA free cans as well. And generally organic vegetables, canned foods come in BPA free or non BPA lined cans, which is a great option as well. So that's a really easy swap you can make. That isn't much money, pennies more per can than conventional, but you're not eating all of those heavily pesticide sprayed tomatoes. Also with potatoes, potatoes are on the dirty dozen. I always, always buy my potatoes organic. And I will tell you when I am at Trader Joe's, if I want to buy non-organic conventional three or five pound bag of potatoes versus the organic three or five pound bag of potatoes. The organic one is less than a dollar more. So to avoid all of the pesticides, I'll gladly pay that little bit more for the potatoes to make sure that they are organic. And honestly, you guys, they taste so much better and you can still wash them, scrub them, all the things, but you're just really taking all of those pesticides out. And it's such a easy, affordable swap to make. You guys know coffee creamer has been a hard transition for me to find a clean coffee creamer that I want to have that's point friendly. I did find that in the layered coffee creamers. I buy these on Amazon. I'll link them down below for you guys. I love the pumpkin spice. It's so good. There's cacao, chocolate mint, vanilla, turmeric, plain. These have perfect ingredients. Now they're not very sweet. They are sweetened with coconut sugar, which is a paleo sweetener, but it's been an easy swap for me because I'll usually just add some monk fruit or whole earth or something. If I want it a little bit sweeter, pop in a little bit of full fat half and half, and I have a creamy coffee that's full of real good ingredients. I also have been loving the organic Valley coffee creamers. These are flavored, but not with natural flavors, which is really the only coffee creamer that I can buy in the grocery store that doesn't have natural flavors is these organic Valley ones. Now they are going to cost you two to three smart points for a couple of tablespoons, but they have really good ingredients. So when I'm just wanting coffee creamer, that's a swap that I've made. And they're actually the same price as all of your other coffee creamers, just a much better option. Now the layered is a little bit more expensive, but if you want a really clean, perfect low point, cause it's only two smart points for a big heaping tablespoon of the creamer, that's an excellent, excellent option. Another swap you can look at is your bread and your tortilla choices. You guys know that I've always loved the Trader Joe's sprouted sourdough bread. I no longer choose any bread that isn't a sprouted or really sprouted even uh, versus a whole grain bread. I love the Trader Joe's sprouted wheat and sprouted sourdough. And I also love any of the Ezekiel breads. Those are always perfect choices when it comes to bread. I love the raisin bread and I love the Ezekiel just regular four nine bread. It's about two smart points per slice, which is one smart point more than Sara Lee, which I do not like, you guys know, it tastes like cardboard. These breads are full of great ingredients and 
protein. The Trader Joe's sprouted sourdough has seven grams of protein per slice. You're not gonna find that in any other type of bread. So that was a really easy transition for me. I also have transitioned into a clean tortilla. I have a couple of favorites. You guys know I love the La Tortilla Factory. The big tortillas are two smart points. The small ones are one and they have great ingredients. I recently bought the Siete almond flour tortillas. I'm in love, legit in love. Those are the best tortillas I have ever had in my life. They are soft, they are so moist, they have fabulous flavor. They're three smart points a piece. They are a little bit on the smaller side, but they are 100% clean. 100% clean tortilla, and they're a little bit pricey. They're between seven and eight dollars a package. So if that's just not something that you want to spend, swap that out with the La Tortilla Factory that are about the same price as the Olay Wraps of the World and some of those other tortillas. My swaps on rice has been another big one for me. I usually do not have any type of white rice. I prefer to have brown rice. I love the frozen brown rice from Trader Joe's. I love the sprouted brown rice from Thrive Market. That rice is actually my very, very favorite. I really enjoy wild rice and quinoa. So those are kind of the grains that I lean towards other than potatoes. I don't do any white rice any longer just because there's much more nutritional value in any of the rices that I mentioned. Now, I'm not opposed to white rice, but I would say if you are going to buy white rice, say jasmine or basmati, do your best to get that organic just because of the pesticide volume in rice. That's very, very heavily sprayed. And if you get the organic, you're gonna take out the equation of the pesticides and generally non-GMO as well. So those are some rices that I've made the swaps. Price on those are the same. Brown rice costs pretty much the same as white rice. You just get a lot more nutritional value. I also have completely swapped out conventional or non-organic rolled oats for organic oats. That is not something that I waver on. Did you guys know know that oats are the most heavily sprayed with glyphosate, which is the active ingredient in Roundup. Roundup. I don't want to put that in my body. And the price for organic oats is pennies more than the price of regular oats. So that was a super easy swap. If you are going to make one swap, if you're an oatmeal eater or a popcorn eater even, make sure that you're buying organic. It's going to reduce the amount of pesticides that you're consuming and it's not much more, literally pennies more than traditional oats and traditional popcorn. Now this next one was kind of a rough swap for me, but I have grown to love the alternative and that was eliminating pop from my diet. The reason that I choose not to have diet pop, say Diet Coke, Diet Pepsi, even Sprite, 7-Up, is because they all contain aspartame, which is an artificial sweetener that I don't consume. I actually try not to consume any artificial sweeteners anymore or as very little as possible. And if I do choose, it's always stevia or monk fruit. Those are my kind of two go-tos, but I really try to limit the amount that I'm consuming. Also in brown or cola colored soft drinks is caramel coloring, which is a terrible artificial ingredient that basically is just to make it brown in color and more appealing to the eye. I try not to have any caramel coloring. In fact, I don't have any caramel coloring at all. So I swapped to either Spindrift sparkling water. That is the only sparkling water on the market that doesn't have natural flavors. It's actually sweetened with fruit. The best price for that is going to be at Costco. But if I want pop, or soda, I reach for Zevia. Zevia is sweetened with stevia. It does have natural flavors, which is the only thing I wish that it didn't have, but it is a far better swap than your traditional diet pop. So if you're a diet pop drinker, give it a try. It does take a little bit of getting used to. It is clear in color, and it does leave that little bit of that stevia aftertaste, but I actually really enjoy it. I generally have one every day, every other day with dinner, and it's just been a really easy swap for me. It is a little bit more expensive. It's going to cost you about five dollars a six pack i recently found it on sale for about 350 a six pack but i pay a little bit more for far superior ingredients protein powder is another one that i did a lot of research on you guys know i recently did a video all about the best and the worst protein powders i'll link that down in the description box for you guys as well but i sent that video i have found two other protein powders that I love. You guys know I love the Less Naked Way. I buy that on Amazon. Of course, I'll link all of these, everything I can link down below for you guys. This is an excellent choice for a protein powder. It has perfect ingredients. It has coconut sugar as the sweetener. It's three smart points per scoop, and it's so good. Recently, I also discovered Tara's Way, the organic grass-fed, which is amazing, bourbon vanilla protein powder is stellar. It is only two smart points, 
per scoop. I like to put that in my smoothies and make protein shakes out of that. I buy that off of the Thrive Market. You can also buy it on Amazon, but it's literally $10 a container less on Thrive. So if you're a member of Thrive, definitely pick it up there. If you're not, there's a link to join the Thrive Market. Highly recommend down in the description box as well. And the last protein, it's not really even a protein powder, but it is the Primal Kitchen Collagen Powder. I love the peanut butter one. I love putting that with banana and some cacao powder and almond milk and blending that up. It's literally like a Reese's peanut butter shake and it has wonderful ingredients. I love it so much. It tastes so good and it is two smart points per scoop and you're getting in a big dose of collagen, which is always a win. So I have really changed over the protein powders that I used to use into these are my three go-tos and I'm always on the lookout for some other proteins. There is another brand that I have ordered. It is a plant-based protein and I've heard it is outstanding. I don't have it yet. I may have it. You may have already seen it before this video goes out, but as soon as it comes in, I'm going to give it a try and see if it isn't gritty because that's what I don't like about plant protein, but it has really good ingredients and I believe it's only one smart point per serving. So stay tuned for a review on that. Now you guys know I loved my fat free ready whip. Loved it. I no longer have that or really any canned whipped cream for two reasons. One, they all contain carrageenan. Even the most expensive, fanciest five or six dollar a can whipped creams still contain carrageenan and they have propellants, which pushes the whipped cream out of the can, which I try to avoid as well. So you know I found an alternative and I'm obsessed. I buy it probably once a week, once every couple weeks, and that is the So Delicious Cocoa Whip. It does have natural flavor. Again, not my favorite, but way clean ingredients compared to any other whipped cream or whipped topping on the market. Doesn't have any questionable oils, no carrageenan, and no propellant it's so good and I get a lot of questions on whether it tastes like coconut I don't think so I think it just tastes like regular whipped cream I have found it pretty much at every grocery store it's generally in the freezer section in the health food area a couple other swaps that I've made as you guys know is I have swapped out my pb2 for regular nut butter I just take the points for that. That was an easy swap for me. I'm much more satisfied with the nut butters. They have really, really healthy fats in them and they keep me full and satiated. And I've also swapped out sugar-free syrup just due to the sweeteners or just not sweeteners that I want for pure maple syrup. You can have a table, or I'm sorry, a teaspoon for one smart point. That's enough syrup and it's absolutely delicious. It's clean, it's a wonderful sweetener, a little goes a long way. And last but not least, I've also swapped out any honey or sugar-free honey alternative for real honey. My favorite is raw honey, it's so good. Make sure that you pick up your honey raw and organic, it's just much better. And it's not much more than regular honey. In fact, it's cheaper than regular honey at Costco. You get three big jugs of organic raw honey for like 10 bucks, which is amazing. So you can add that to pretty much anything that you need sweetener in along with your maple syrup and they're much better choices. And that was just overall an easier swap. And one point, two points, I'll take it for a much cleaner food. And the last swaps that I wanna talk about that are really easy are some snack options. So these are some of my go-to snacks that I really like to have that I have just found a cleaner version of. First is popcorn. I will pop my own with an organic popcorn. I really like the heirloom. It doesn't get stuck in your teeth. It's super good. They're these small little kernels of popcorn really delicious. If I want a pre-popped, ready to go popcorn, I reach for the Trader Joe's popped in olive oil. Trader Joe's also has it popped heirloom popcorn that has great ingredients as well. But that was just an easy, easy swap. It tastes better. It's popped in much better oil. And at Trader Joe's, it's affordable. I think the huge bag of the olive oil popcorn is $2. So I just either pop my own so I can control what's going in it, or I choose good ingredients pre-popped popcorn. Also, you guys know that I've been loving the brown rice cakes. Top it with a little bit of nut butter, sometimes some jam. I like nut butter with some raisins on there. It's so good and it's a perfect little snack. I'm mixing a carb and a protein, which is a great choice. I swapped out all those flavored Quaker rice cakes that have literally zero nutritional value and generally not good ingredients for just your whole brown rice cake. And I doctor it up to make it whatever flavor or flavor combination that I want. I can add some peanut butter and cacao nibs and have a chocolate rice cake. I can add some peanut butter and some jam and have a PB and J rice cake. Really good ingredients, super easy swap and about the same price as the Quaker. The Lundberg are pretty much the same price. I buy these either on Thrive or at my local grocery store. 
They're usually in the health food section and Trader Joe's carries some of the round Lundberg brown rice cakes as well. You guys know I love the Lily Bees brownie thins and the Patience little chocolate bites. Those are a couple of my favorite kind of sweet snacks. I picked both of these up at the Thrive Market. The brownie thins taste like crispy corners of your brownie pan and the little Patience chocolate bites. They are like a little truffle. They are sweet from the chocolate with a little bit of tang from the cranberry. Really good. Both of these have great ingredients. They're great choices if you kind of want a sweet snack. And speaking of sweet snacks, you guys know that I love this so delicious little mini ice cream sandwiches. I've shown those. I talked about those in my favorite desserts video. I'll definitely link that down below if you haven't seen that. These are really good. They're about four smart points. They have pretty good ingredients. They use a questionable oil, which I don't love, but as far as like ice cream goes, this is the cleanest that I've been able to find that is actual ice cream, not like a fruit bar, but an actual ice cream. And they're really good and they satisfy that need for an ice cream or an ice cream sandwich. I also love the Siete tortilla chips and I love the Siete queso. Fabulous ingredients. It's a great little snack. I've also been making a clean nacho where I use the Siete chips some organic shredded cheese, some beans of my choice, and then I top it with one point, which is two tablespoons of the Siete queso. Hmm, delicious. I picked these up at my local health food store. Fred Meyer also carries a lot of the Siete brand. And last for snack go-tos is Hope Hummus. You guys know I love Hope Hummus. I use this a lot as a condiment. So I either choose this or the Chosen Foods Avocado Mayo, best prices at Costco. But if I'm using hummus as a condiment I don't need mayo and it's so good it adds a lot of flavor it adds the moisture that you would get from a mayo delicious I also love to dip chips carrots cucumbers all the things in the hummus absolutely love love this hummus you can find this at pretty much every grocery store I love the roasted garlic and I love the basil the basil one is so good kale and basil I think it is so delicious. Highly recommend. Excellent, excellent ingredients. Clean as clean can be for hummus. You have to watch hummus for the oils that they use. And a lot of times they have artificial flavors. This is a clean hummus. It's absolutely delicious. It's the same price as every other hummus must have. So those are just some of the easy swaps that you can make that are affordable, that don't cost very much more or not any more at all than traditional or the old way of eating these products. Super easy swaps, affordable, clean eating. Again, baby steps. As you get rid of your Quaker chocolate rice cakes, try buying the brown rice cakes and adding some toppings of your own. You're going to feel much more satisfied. You're putting good whole food in your body. Your body feels better. I've noticed a big difference in my skin and my hair, my overall just appearance by transitioning to clean food. And I feel so much better. I am much more regular. I know TMI, but it's a thing. I have a whole video where I did a one month review on how I'm feeling on clean eating. I'll link that down below for you guys. I went into detail of how I'm feeling after the transition. And honestly, I'm loving it. And I am okay spending the little bit of extra points for good whole food, the little bit of extra money for good whole food, because honestly, I snack a lot less than I used to. I usually have one snack a day, sometimes no snacks a day. So the money that I used to spend in the snacks, I spend on these easy swaps instead. So that's how I've been working the program. I hope it gives you some good ideas. Even if you're not taking a clean approach to the program, these are still some really, really good easy swaps that you can make just for better nutritional profile, better nutritional value. So highly recommend these swaps. Again, you can find most of these at your local grocery store, a lot of them on the Thrive Market. I will make sure that I link Thrive and all of the other links to my favorite things down below for you guys. And of course, any of these products that I can find that are on Amazon or any online market, I'll link those down below for you guys as well. So I hope this video helped you guys out. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It means a lot to me, shows me what content you guys like and what I should continue to put out and it really helps my channel. So I really appreciate that. So make sure you're checking out the description box for the links to all these products, as well as the link to head over and join my Facebook group. We'd love to have you be part of the community over there. We are 15,000 strong and counting, and it is such a fun place to be. If you're new, welcome. I hope you stick around. Hit that little subscribe button and that bell so you're notified when new videos are uploaded. Thank you guys so much for spending some time with me today. If you made it all the way, to the end of this video. Leave the emoji with the heart eyes 
in the, the comment section for me so I know that you stuck it out till the end and you plus you gained a lot of great easy clean eating swabs. Thank you again for watching today's video and for supporting my channel. It means a lot to me. I love you guys so much and I'll see you next time.